Hi, I'm Stephanie and welcome back to Building a Path to Success. I'm excited to have you join me here today and I'm, we'll talk about another program, but I do want to be mindful and tell everyone happy Thanksgiving for those who celebrate and just remember to use your time wisely. A lot of students went back home over the break and sometimes we get caught up with having fun. We're in this pandemic and we may be visiting friends, but keep that in perspective and don't lose sight of your dreams and missing deadlines and time to um, be productive. You will be having a, a large period of time home soon for your winter break. Use that time to work on these um, applications for REUs, SERFs, or whatever it is. So let me go back and just kind of introduce myself again. I am Stephanie. I do look up programs for high school and college students. Uh, the goal is for all students to become more competitive within their field and finding their way to their career goal. Learning actually how to separate themselves from the pack. If you like this type of information, please support the channel by give me a thumbs up on the actual YouTube and like, subscribe, um, ring the notification bell, send it out to others. We are a village, we must work together. Um, if you are new here, welcome. Come along for the journey. If you have questions, list it in the comments. I often talk very short, I don't talk for long, and I leave all the information in the description below. So please, if you like this, Ring that notification bell so you can always get updates on it. Now, in general, I, I give out information on REUs um, and other opportunities. REUs are research experiences for undergraduates. This actually complements your formal education and allows you to get hands-on experience that you just cannot get during the school year with your professor. Most REUs, SERFs, and other opportunities only have get funding for a small number of students, anywhere from eight to 12, maybe 15, but eight to 12 is normally what I say. So you normally wanna to apply to as many as you can without getting yourself flustered or upset because it can become frustrating. A little tip that I try to tell people is to get organized on an Excel sheet so that you can know the name of the program, keep the link right there, uh, the deadline, what's needed, a breakdown of what's needed, how many recommenders, because you, even though you will be spending your winter break applying for many of these, you don't wanna have to contact your mentor, your professors over the break. You wanna be able to communicate with them between now and when you go on break. You want to be able to find out what they're, if they are willing to write you a letter of recommendation and if you have to submit it. Some places will ask them to submit it. Some places will ask you to submit the first and last name and the email address of the recommender and they will send the link. I also suggest for each recommender that you have a, uh, a Google Doc with their name on it your name and contact information, and the name of each of the programs that you're asking them to recommend you for. Next to the name of the program, you wanna also have the deadline. You wanna have maybe a hyperlink in there with, so they can read about the particular program, so they can maybe tailor their letter to that program. You wanna put on there um, a blurb maybe, because they may not wanna read about it, you may want to send them a blurb about what the program is because there are many programs and I don't think any one person knows about each program. In addition to doing this, ask your mentor or your professor if they have any programs in mind that you can apply for. Sometimes they have connections or sometimes they know about programs. Moving forward, this program I'm going to talk about today is the Western Washington University Shannon Point Marine Center. This particular program is for um, nine weeks in the summer of 2022. They are looking for eight students and each student will be connected with a research advisor where they, where the student will work with the researcher and conduct research 
in that uh, um, area. Uh, this is more marine biology, marine science, ecology. So it will be along those lines. The um, program will run June 13th until August 12th of 2022. The application does open December of 2021 and it will close February 11th of 2022. Um, you will have housing at the dormitory that's located right there where you're gonna be working at. And it does provide a stipend of $5,400 for the summer. You will have food allowance of $675. And again, I'm gonna say food allowance. They will not be providing, um, this is not like a regular dorm where someone's gonna be cooking for you, go through the tray. You will be cooking your own food. There is a kitchen there and you will be um, doing that yourself. As far as getting to the location, they're gonna give you a travel allowance of up to $650. Now, I personally, you know, I guess I've gone places that I, when I was younger and I stayed in tents and things like this, where a lot of people are often concern, hey, what are the dorms like? What is this going to be like? So the rooms have two beds and a closet and a dresser and desk. And um, so two people will be sharing um, a, a room. Two rooms will share a bathroom. You will have internet in all of the rooms. And I know that's important, especially in the day's uh, time. The common area, you will have a kitchen with refrigerator, microwave, stove, sinks, dishwasher, everything you need. But you're gonna have to be doing your own cleanup and preparing your own meals. Um, they do have televisions there, stereo, recreation stuff, a washer and dryer um, will be available for you. So you basically will have everything that you need right at your fingertips so that you can truly focus on researching over the, um, your summer. These research programs allows your opportunity to get to know others who are in your age range or sometimes some people are a little bit older, but will allow you to meet others who have the same interest that you have. And as you go on to graduate school, you have people you can reach back and connect to. So you are at the beginning stage of networking. This also allows you to build up your resume and your CV. This gives you more to write about when you're writing about answering questions for graduate school, which is part of the purpose of the REU and the SERFs to give students the opportunity to have these hands-on experiences so that they can have a more meaningful letter, get to really narrow down what they're interested in. And if you could do something like this each summer, um, at least for three summers, it really gives you a lot to talk about. And, and, you're in, and really taps into your inner self and you become um, more intellectual and um, could talk about more things within your career field that you're trying to get to. Again, if you like this kind of information, give me a thumbs up, support the channel, do it on the YouTube. I know I've seen this on other platforms and people um, sometimes we'll do it on those uh, platforms, but it really has to be done on this one. And the most important thing is remember the application will open in December. And the application deadline is February 11th, 2022. Do not wait to the last minute. You will be stressed out. When it opens, make sure you start working on it. If this is something you're interested in. And if not, share the information. Again, I thank you, be a part of the village, and please share this information. Enjoy the holidays. Take care.